Today we're going to demonstrate how to uh, properly flush a roots meter. Uh, oftentimes roots meters get debris inside the measuring chamber and uh, it will cause the impellers to stop motion. So we have uh, a couple of different ways that we can do this. Uh, if you have a parts washer tank, you can take it to a parts washer uh, tank and uh, do the flushing. However, if you're in the field, uh, you may be more inclined to keep the meter <coughs> in the setting and try to free it up from there. We use lacquer thinner or brake cleaner. Uh, to free up the impellers if there's debris in there. Do not use, under any circumstances, WD-40. Uh, that will leave a residue. Uh, the one thing uh, that we want to make sure is because of the tolerances of the impellers that you don't use anything that may coat those impellers and cause uh, problems where you would have more debris sticking. Uh, both these substances evaporate readily and will do a great job of cleaning. <clears throat> so the first thing that you do, make sure your meter is isolated. Make sure your uh, upstream valve is closed, your downstream valve is closed so that you're not <clears throat> have any pressure. Make sure you've bled off any kind of pressure that is on the meter. Secondly, if you take this out of the setting, make sure that you keep your meter level from end to end. Always keep it level. The reason for this is there is oil in the front and back of the meter and that oil will leak into the measuring chamber and it will cause your impellers not to turn. So the first thing that we wanna do is remove the root soil from the mag end of the meter. <clears throat> we need to use an Allen wrench. Go ahead and loosen that plug. You've seen I've turned this meter on its side. What we're going to do is take this over to the edge of the table and with a coffee can, we're just going to drain that oil. After draining the oil, go ahead, reinstall that plug. And repeat the procedure for the gear end of the meter. Now, after the removal of all of the oil and your reinstallation of the plug, I want to bring to your attention an option that you may have to help free up the impellers. And that is by removing this end plug. When you remove this end plug, that is going to give you access to one of the bolts that holds your gear on your impeller. You can use a 5 16 inch Allen wrench to work the impellers back and forth. Now make sure that you are not turning counterclockwise because that will loosen that screw. The last thing you want to do is loosen that screw. So try to wiggle it back and forth, back and forth to free up those impellers. But that is an option <clears throat> if you are in the field and you do not want to uninstall the meter from your setting, you may be able to free up the impellers this way. After 
working your impellers back and forth, you may be able to go ahead and open your upstream valve and your downstream valve just a, a small amount to see if it will blow any of the debris out of the meter. However, that may not solve the issue. So make sure that you're reinstalling your plugs before you attempt that. Okay? So next, we're going to get our empty coffee can and we're going to set our meter on top of our coffee can. Now, on your larger meters, of course, you'll want something a little bit more substantial underneath the meter to capture any liquid that passes through. So we're going to add just a little bit of this and just try to work the impellers back and forth to free them up. Now at this time, this is going to start cleaning any debris off of the impellers. Do not, under any circumstances, use a sharp instrument such as a screwdriver to try to free up your impellers. This will cause damage. These impellers are made out of aluminum and they were, will score the impellers or create some sort of other issue with them. So <clears throat> as you work the impellers back and forth you will see that just adding this will turn the impellers once they are free. If they are not free, keep working them back and forth and back and forth. If all attempts fail at freeing up the impellers, something is either lodged or the impellers are damaged in some way, shape, or form, or your timing is off. At this point, adding any more fluid to the meter is not going to solve the issue and the meter will have to be taken apart and inspected for any other damage or uh, an axle uh, on the impeller uh, being bent because it is out of time. Okay, at this point, you can set the meter down, make sure that you have clearance, and go ahead and run some compressed air through it, and this is how the meter should sound. You can tell there's no clunking or hesitation in the impellers. Now at this point, reinstall the meter into the setting and depending on the orientation you will have sight glasses for use when we refill the oil chambers. In the hor horizontal position you will see a sight glass here. If it is in the vertical position you will see a sight glass here. Remove the oil plugs While observing the sight glass, you want to only fill that sight glass half full. Repeat the process on the other end, the mag end, your index end, and again observe your sight glass. Do not overfill because that will cause additional pressure in this chamber and will cause your meter not to measure as accurately. Reinstall it 
your plugs. Make sure they are secure. Open your inlet valve, open your outlet valve, both of them very slowly. Initially, energize your meter. This is an important step because if you open your inlet valve and outlet valve too quickly, the impellers will turn at a snap. Remember, just a breath of air can cause those impellers to move. And you do not want to overpressure them too quickly where they will slip time. That's an extremely important issue. Again, open your inlet valve first very, very slowly. That will equalize pressure in the meter. Then open your downstream very slowly because if the gas has been evacuated downstream, it will need to catch up and the impellers will start turning immediately. After that, you should be in operation. You can at this point make sure that the impellers are turning by observing the black-white wheel on the end of the meter. You can also observe the hash marks on the index moving. That will indicate that the meter is in operation and measuring. 